Hi guys, today we're going to see if we can use this Xperia, Sony Xperia 5 Mark IV as a cup heater. So this is the Sony Xperia 5 Mark IV. Uh, it's not a new market phone, but uh, I got it as a new phone, uh, as a replacement for my old phone, surprise surprise. The rumors say that this could get very very hot. So let's check that out. Today we're going to find out why and when this phone gets hot. If you're looking to buy this phone, watch this video first. The results may surprise you and the heat issue may not be an issue for you. Issue, issue. Okay, so let's talk about it. So I rarely buy a new phone and uh, it's because I hate changing phones. To be honest, I really hate changing phones. Uh, there's a lot of things you have to move. There's a lot of authenticators and all this stuff. I just don't like it. Um, but when I do get a new phone, I tend to do a bit of research because I want not to move my phone again <laughs> or buy a new phone. So I usually have my phone around two or three, maybe even four years, but then the batteries are dying out. So one thing that was very important for me when I was getting this new phone was that it was very small. I don't like the bigger smartphones, so I kind of wanted a smaller phone, but they're kind of hard to find if you want a strong processor as well. And I knew that having a strong processor in this form factor would probably cause some heat issues. But anyways, what do you think? Do you think smartphones are getting too big? Let me know in the comments below. So now we're going to dive into the part where we try to find out when and why the phone gets hot. And uh, I've chosen four activities so that we can test uh, the phone in those um, scenarios. And I'm going to film it with my uh, FLIR camera. I have it right here. Um, so that you can see exactly how much heat it generates and uh, when. The four activities we're going to go through today is web browsing, YouTube watching, two different types of gaming, one low level game and one AAA game if you can say so, and then we're going to do some video chats. So here we are in the web browsing test and as we can see we've got 30 degrees in the bottom of the phone and it seemed like it was uh, it had something to do with the controller that I had connected um, via the USB cable. The ambient temperature at all times was 23 degrees and I ran this test for over five, uh, five minutes and nothing changed in the temperature. So I guess we would land it at 30 degrees here. So here we are with the YouTube watch test. As you can see, it's again the bottom of the screen that is getting most hot. We start out at around 32 degrees and it rises all the way up to 35.5, 36 degrees at maximum. This is over a period of uh, 20 minutes and watching 4K video. So here we are playing the first game. This game is called Horizon Chase. And it's a very easy game for the phone to run. It doesn't require very much. And as we can see, the temperature is not rising. I played this game for over 10 minutes and the temperatures didn't really change. So the phone sits at around 30 degrees uh, at maximum and it's again at the bottom of the screen. So here we are with Apex Legends Mobile and this game really requires everything your phone has to offer. So um, as you can see the, the temperature is jumping between my fingers and, um, and the phone and um, it started out in the menu at around 32 degrees and quickly rises up to 33, 34 degrees. So skipping to the end of the round here we actually end up with almost 43 degrees on the screen where you touch it with your fingers. This is something that you can feel. And um, I want to say that uh, at this stage, this, this match took about 10 minutes or something. So this really gets the phone hot. And hey, champions, yay! So this is the final test, voice calling, or not voice calling, but video calling. And um, I called Boba Fett, and the phone got hot really, really quick. And after just and after just five minutes of calling Boba Fett, I could see that we had around forty point nine degrees or something like that. So video calling will definitely give you a very hot Xperia phone. So why does this phone get so hot? Well, um, 
The thing is that most phones have a back uh, made of plastic or aluminum or something like that. But this phone has glass on both sides. And glass is very very bad at spreading heat. Um, which means that the glass is actually an insulator of the heat. And in some of my tests I could see on the, on the camera that this side of um, the phone was getting very hot because um, it's, it's trying to get rid of the heat via the chassis, which is aluminum. So why Sony has chosen to make the back of the phone uh, from glass, I'm not sure. I think it's a design choice, but it's, uh, in my opinion, a poor design choice because you kind of limit the phone's uh, performance. What will happen is that when the CPU gets too hot, it will throttle itself down, just like any other device, to prevent overheating. So is heat a problem with this phone? Well, it depends, because if you use your phone for a lot of video calling while holding the phone, yes, it might be a problem for you. Um, if you're using your phone as um, web browsing, email client, um, so me, uh, all kind of social media stuff, um, then it probably won't be a problem for you. Uh, actually, you can play a lot of games on this as well, being not the AAA games because those get hot, but you can do a lot with this phone without it, without it getting too hot to hold. If you use this phone for 4K recording, especially in the slow motion in the slow motion mode with 120 FPS, it will get hot. It would get really hot. And I think that this is the place where most people kind of uh, experience the um, overheating issue that the phone will notify you that it's overheating. But remember, you don't need to shoot 120 FPS all the time using this phone. Uh, you can just shoot uh, 60 FPS or 30 FPS and if you're shooting at 30 FPS it's not a problem. So that's it for this one guys. I hope you liked this video and if it helped you please leave a like and uh, remember if you want me to make more of this content please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. It kind of also verifies my existence and I like that. I hope you will have a very very good day and if you're kind of feeling nostalgic why not check out my refurb of the Nokia E72 right here or here or here or here or here. I don't know where it can be but it's definitely on your screen. Okay have a nice day. Bye.